Tonine Tim. Um, one of insects found uh, something gliding on the surface of the sea. Um, it was the fin he found. Look, and there was something gliding on, and uh, the fin, not one, but two. Uh, all insects uh, and James uh, took a uh, look at it, and then there were many, many of them. Uh, some uh, gliding fins and came up uh, closer to the giant beach. And also, one um, shouted, Shark! It's shark. It must be shark. And then they saw that shark. And the shark was very aggressive. And they were afraid of the shark. And they are uh, worried about their life if shark um, attack. And they didn't uh, think they were alive. Um, when the leader shark started attack and then the other shark and about the 30 sharks and attack uh, start attacking the giant fish um, so when uh, insects like spiders and um, glow up, ask James uh, to think uh, what they should do to escape uh, this uh, um, attack from uh, the shark. Chapter 20. There is something that I believe we might try, James uh, Henry Proto said slowly. I'm not saying I, it'll work. Oh, tell us, cried the first one. Tell us quick. We'll try anything you say, said the centipede. But hurry, hurry, hurry. Be quiet and uh, let the voice speak, said a lady one. Go on, James. They all moved a little closer to him. And there was a long niche pause. Go on, they cried frantically. Go on. And all the times while they were still waiting, they could hear the sharks thrusting around in the water. Below them, it was enough to make anyone frantic. Come on, James, the lady bug said, coaxing him. Um, I am afraid it's no good at all, James murmured, um, shaking his head. I'm terribly sorry I forgot. We don't have any strings. Um, we need hundreds of yards of string to make this work. What sort of string? asked the old green grass of first sharply. It's all just as strong as it's strong. My dear boy, that's exactly what we do have. We've got all you want. How well? The silk worm cried the old green grasshoppers. Did you ever know the silk worms? She's still downstairs. She never moves and then she just lies there sleeping all day long. But we can easily wake her up and then uh, make her spins. And what about me? May I ask, said Mr. Spider. I can spin just as well as any silkworms. What's more, I can spin patterns. Can I make enough between you? Asked James. As much as you want. And quickly, of course, of course. And would it be strong? The strongest there is. It's as thick as your fingers. But why? What are you going to do? I'm going to lift these pe peaches clear out of the water. James announced firmly. You are mad, cried the worst ones. It's our only chance. The boy is crazy. He's joking. Go on, James, the lady who said gently. How are you going to do it? Skyhooks, I suppose, jeered the centipede. Seagulls, James answered calmly. The place is full of them. Look up there. They all look upon and saw so a great mass of seagulls filling the long and long sky. I'm going to take a long six string, James went on, and I'm going to loop 
on the end of which round a single snake and then I'm going to tie the other end to the stem of the fish and he pointed the fish stems which was standing up like a short thick mast in the middle of the deck. Then I'm going to get another seagulls and do the same thing again. Then another and another ridiculous they shouted. Observed. Pafko pulled the dash. Madness. The old green grasshopper said, How can a few seagulls lift an enormous thing like this up too into the air? All of us said was, It will take hundred thousand. There's no shortage of sugar, James answered. Look for yourselves. We'll probably need four hundred, four hundred, five, six hundred, maybe even a thousand. I don't know. I shall simply go on hooking them up to the stems until we have enough to lift us. They'll be bound to lift us in the end. It's like balloons. You give someone enough the balloons to behold. I'm nearly enough. And then up he goes. And a seagull has a far more lifting power than a balloon. If only we have the time to do it. If only we are not sunk first by those awful sharks. You are absolutely off your head, said the earth worms. How on earth do you propose to get a loop of string on the seagull snack? I suppose you're going to fly up there yourself and catch it? The boys thought he said a sensibility. Let him finish, said a lady boy. Go on, James, how will you do it? Wait, with bait. Bait? What sort of bait? Well, worm, of course, the seagulls love worms. And then, didn't you know that? Uh, and luckily for us, uh, we have uh, the biggest, fattest, the finkest, juiciest earth worm in the world. You can stop right there, the earth worm said sharply. That's quite enough. Go on, the other said. Uh, beginning to grow interested. Go on. The seagulls have already spotted him. James continued. Uh, that's why they are so many of them circling around. And but they daren't come down to get him so while all the rest of us are standing here. But this is what stop to cry the last one. Stop, stop, stop. I wanna have it. I'll refuse. Be quiet, sir, stand a bit. My own business, I like that. My dear the ones, you're going to be eaten anyway, so what difference does it make whether it's sharks or seagulls? I won't do it. Why don't we hear what the plan is first, said old green grasshopper. I don't give a hoot. So what the plan is, cried the earthworm. I'm not going to be packed to death by a bunch of seagulls. You'll be my cheer, said the centipede. I shall respect you for the rest of my life. So would I, said Miss Spider, and your name will be all the newspapers of worms gives life to save friends, but he won't have to give his life, James told them. Now listen to me, this is what we do. Oh my god, and then... Um, can you imagine seagulls uh, pick up the giant peach? <laughs> oh, dark side, here is amazing. So I'm going to add it from 11 to 20.